Hey Wings Disciples, this is a uh, quick and dirty tutorial as to how to get a door or flap to show up on a curved surface in Wings uh, for use in Orbiter to and have it the door be blend in with the curved surface when it's closed and not stick out. Um, the simple way to do a curved surface if I wanted the, this polygon to be a door would be to do a shell extrude and since we want it to be inside the surface, we give it a uh, thickness of 0 0.02, 0 0.01, we'll say. And we, first off, it's inside out, so we'd have to invert it. Um, and there's our door we want uh, to give it hard edges so that they're edge is actually square. If the edges aren't marked as hard, they won't show up as 90 degree angles. Um, and in order to we hide the, uh, or mark as a hole, the polygon uh, on the original sphere that we uh, were covering with the door. The problem with this is, even though it looks okay in the modeling view and in the polygon view, when you look at the smoothed view, the door is obvious, and it, it doesn't blend in with the surface at all, and it, it looks bad. Uh, and while this, this is an orbiter here, the smooth view in wings is a pretty good approximation of what it ends up looking like in orbiter. So this isn't going to work. Um, so what we do... Whoops. I broke it. I really broke it. Okay, so what we do for this if we want this to be our door, we take all of the surface, the faces around it, and we include that when we extrude. And uh, since we don't need all of these to be as thick as the door is going to be, we uh, just do a shell extrude with a distance of zero. And what that does for us is it gives us an extraction from the surface which is the shape of the sphere, and it sits on the sphere, and uh, we don't need these extra corners here, so we just do a clean up and it'll chop off the corners for us. Um, and to give our door thickness, we just take the inner face of the door face, and we extrude that by 0.01, or however thick we want our door to be. And uh, make sure that you make those uh, those edges hard, because otherwise uh, they won't show up as 90 degree angles. And however, even though it looks like they are, note that the exterior edges are not marked as hard here. It's just that it's showing through. Um, this edge right here is, for example, not hard. It just it shows through the mesh. Um, however, we don't want all of these faces to show up when we export to Orbiter. The only reason that they are here is to give this surface the smoothness it needs in order to look like it's sitting blended in with the surface of the sphere. And in order to tell the orbiter exporter that we don't want these surfaces to show up, we n give them a material named exclude, underscore, exclude, underscore. Uh, and you can make this whatever you want. I just, I'll make it an op opacity of zero. Uh, so it doesn't show up in the smoothed view here. And, and there's our door object. And if we, uh, so for what's under the door, um, for this this case, you can have this open onto whatever uh, you want. In this case, I'm going to make the door sit in a small recess on the a small recess on the surface of the sphere. What you could do to get that is to extrude this face uh, in, and there's your recess that the door is sitting in. However, at this point, we've now changed the surface of the sphere by having a face be reset from um, set back from it, and that changes the normals of the sphere, and that's not the look we're going for. So we um, cancel that, and we again do a shell extrude, except this time we do just the face we want um, as the the recess, and we we'll do it negative. Um, so if the door is 0.01, let's say we want the recess to be 0.05, um, and the face on the surface of the sphere, uh, the original sphere here, also needs to be marked as uh, exclude, so it will not be exported to Orbiter. Um, and what we have in here is, is this is where 
or door, perhaps it's an access panel, um, and there's or um, a flap or a speed brake or something, and we need to make sure that that all of these edges are marked as uh, hard, so they'll actually show up as right angles. And when we put all this together, um, it doesn't look like much in the modeling view, but when you go into the smooth view, you can see that the door is effectively invisible, and it's blending in smoothly with the surface, with the curved surface of the sphere. And you can see um, on the edges there, from certain angles, you can see that, and there's just nothing you can do about that. That's just a numerical thing with the renderer. Um, and if I open the door um, along an edge, this looks kind of weird in the modeling view, but if you look at it from the smooths, you can see how we have a solid door here with a solid recess from the surface of the sphere. And in wings, there's still a polygon there. You can't do anything about that. Um, and it can be annoying to model around, but that's how it works. Um, however, when you export this to Orbiter, that polygon will not show up. Um, these, these excess polygons around here will not show up at all, and it, it'll, look, it'll look like this. Um, and inside here, you don't have to have just a simple recess. You could have this open onto the inside of the sphere if you'd had the entire uh, part of the sphere open. But the trick here is that you need to keep that face on the sphere there to keep the surface of the sphere the same shape, because Orbiter calculates the normals of the vertices by the faces around it. So you have to keep that face there. So you need the interior of your um, spaceship or whatever to be a, another separate object and you have to maintain the, the surface of, of the sphere here. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, this video is recorded using the free community clips from Office Labs, an excellent free screen recorder. If there are any other questions, um, feel free to contact me on YouTube or on Orbiter Forum. Thank you.